Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you these two witchy journals. And um, both are actually very different than I expected. Uh, this one is based more on elements and spells and is normally $6.97 unless you go on eBay like I did and pay 12 bucks for it which I was kind of irritated with because why is it was a bookstore too that I bought it from so why are they charging me $12 for a $7 book I don't know but thanks a lot so I left them a asshole message <laughs> and this one runs $17.99 so this one you open it up gives you the title page contents setting out it gives you tons of information I'm not going to go through each page Tells you different little journal prompts to do. Relax and meditate. Gives you different things to meditate on. The wheel of the year. All the Sabbaths. All the tools. Colors. And it gives you different Thing, different kinds of spells to write about and it goes through all of this following the Sun gives you all the signs and it gives you different things it's mainly uh, it's mainly spells to be honest it gives you now it tells you about the Sabbaths a little bit but it's mainly to write different spells that you're creating it tells you on one of the pages how to write spells um, let me see let me flip through so I can kind of show you powerful days more spells spell template so it tells you ex um, a breakdown of it that you can write and copy spell for protection air spells so this is mainly like kind of like a journaling BOS spell book how to do an altar fragrance and magic so it tells you the different fragrances doesn't tell all of them obviously it says other but it gives you quite a few scrying magic timing in your spells gives you room to write about each times candle spells courage spells good health and then it gets into looking at the tarot, gives you a spread, interpreting the tarot. Now it does only tell you the major arcana. I kind of renamed some of them, like 21 is the world and they got universe, so. Litha, Litha spells, paper magic, fire spells, amulet, spells for the workplace, lamas, chakra, energy, and gives you lots of room to write about all the chakras. Energy flowing, what black. This is for all your blockages. Like you can write each thing down. What you did to help yourself. Overcome that blockage. 
Me bomb. Gives you the elements, how to balance them. If it's too little, how will you feel? If it's too much, how will you feel? Samhain. It tells you all the warm colored crystals. And then cool colored crystals. Spells to break negative habits. How to create a goddess talisman. Herbs and spices. Spells for a child and family. Not magic. Different spaces for a spell. Yule energy tells you pagan traditions, other traditions, and then lots of room to write. Because Yule, I think, for everyone is kind of different. Earth spells. Even with me and my husband, it's different. Uh, the road goes ever onward. Not quite sure what you do on this page. But you can pause and read it if you like. More information to fill in. Table of correspondences. So it go it has some of the Sabbaths and it goes on to the next page. Same thing with this one. It's the Sabbath, the rest of them. And then this last page is all the elements. So that one is a good little book for all your spells. And this one has a little page of who this book belongs to. Contents. Intro. My journey so far. Gives some journal prompts. Which you know thyself. Mindfulness in the Modern Witch. Awaken the Senses. Different questions. Creating your altar. Spells, rituals. Your rituals. The four elements. Planning your ritual. Casting a circle. Magical correspondences. The seasons. The moon cycles. Now this one is mainly with the moon cycles. Days of the weeks. Times. Performing your rituals. The witch's calendar. And then it gets into more journal prompts. Mindful meditation. And then it goes into the months. So, it starts with January. All these months are the same, but we'll, I'll just show you this, the January month. It asks you different questions in relation to that month and moon phase. Magical correspondences. New moon in Capricorn. Write down your goals and what you want out of that month. Your your intentions you write in gives you a little quote at every month and a reflection for at the end of the month so this does monthly let me see where the end of that is this is so pretty I love the artwork in this book 
So this is more an intention setting, um, following the moon phases and the full moons. Whereas that one's more of a spell book. Very beautiful artwork in these pages. Okay, come on. Okay, this is the last one. This is for Yule. Oh, the correspondences. Intentions. Reflection. And then it says my grammar. Honey jar. Tells you different things to make. Spells. Money spells. Protection spells. Oh, I love all the little plants. Book of Shadows. Tells you what a Book of Shadows is. Spell notes, intention supplies, incantation, and how to. Okay, so it gives you different spell pages right there and that is the end of the book so this one's more of a spell book and works with the elements whereas this one is more of an intention setting and um, works with the moon phases so whichever one you feel the need maybe you want both I think this one is a really good beginner one However, being experienced, I like it too. So, it depends on which, which you would like. Um, maybe you want one, maybe you want both of them. But they are both really good. Both sturdy little books. I hope you enjoy this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you are not. And have a great day. And give me your opinion on these books. Which one did you like? Alright. Bye.